When we finally cut the deal, the Chinese will be looking for us. Seriously. <laughs> they never disappoint. <laughs> The money issues in some of our churches today are becoming a major problem for those who cannot afford. The pastors are too conscious about money rather than preaching the word. I'm a grandmother and I have grandkids to take care of at home. When are your grandkids coming? Helen, your sons are not trying for you at all. What's the matter with them? I just don't know. I just don't know. Look at this big house and there's no laughter, no cry of a child here. They just leave me in the house and they go. Huh? Auntie V, please tell me, can you actually explain to me what this problem is? Because I don't know and I don't understand it. Have you sat them down to ask them if they have problems with women? Or maybe they like doing it with men? Ah, Auntie V, you can't accuse my boys like that. I mean, look at them, especially Paul. Look how the Paul is always chasing after girl skirt. I'm sorry, but um, these days anything is possible. <laughs> Good oh, to see Mr. you. Hey, welcome. How's it going? Mr. Sam. Fine. How are you doing? Fine. Take a seat. Yeah. Are we on time? Yeah. We're on time. Yeah. Can I smoke? No. Hope everything is okay. Trust me, it's a good offer for a company of your standard. Really? What's in it for you? Obviously, to make more money. But I can't disclose how much. You know the rules of the game. <laughs> well, guys, you have to excuse me. I have to use the washroom. We are ready to close in on this contract. Isn't it, uh, Kelvin? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Give him the plan. I'll be right back. Hi. Hi. You kind of look familiar. Try another line. That line is played out. You've been winking at me all night. <laughs> really? Okay, I'm sorry about that. My name is Paul up here. This would just take a minute. I hope you don't mind. Actually, I'm waiting for someone, if you don't mind. Well, I own an agency. I'm the CEO. And looking at your beauty from the distance, and you have a bright future. But it seems you're not interested, so... So, what's your agency about? Well, basically, um, we into models and actresses. Technically, we create stars. So give me a call. Thanks. So I hope I didn't miss much. Not really. Now I know who those wings were directed at. <laughs> Don't be confused. Have a good taste though. Whatever you want, I can supply. Wow. <laughs> Out you go. And why are you not entering the house? I have a date, Kelvin. I am meeting up with the lady I met at the hotel today. Oh, come on, man. That was damn too quick. <laughs> now, tell me, how, how do you get them to meet you like that? Because I'm the man in black. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll uh, try. No questions? No tip, okay? 
And mom said there will be no... See you later, all right? And mom was also complaining. See you later. See you soon. Be careful. Take care of yourself later. Bye. Mom? Mom, why are you crying? Why have you and your brother decided to stress me out? To stress my life out? I can't sleep at night. All I do is think about you. Huh? Ever since that night of the accident, your father departed from us. My life has been in this wheelchair. My life has been full of trauma and loneliness. Mom, why are I... you talking like this? Why shouldn't I? Why? Why shouldn't I? Look at what you and your brother are doing. Huh? People are questioning your sexuality. Huh? Anyway, Kelvin, let me ask you a question. Do you like women? Of course I do, Mom. Well, if you do, for God's sake, then prove them wrong. Prove them wrong. Get married. Settle down. You're working. You've got a good job. What is it with you? What are you waiting for? You're waiting for me to drop dead before you get married? Mom, how many times do I have to tell you this? Women of nowadays, they are not reliable. Today you marry them, the next day they're filing for a divorce. You can put a ring on their finger today and mom, the next day you will see them sleeping with your boss. With all these issues at stake, it is better we take our time before we get married. Don't you get it, mom? No, I don't get it. What do you people want me to do? Continue sit and wait for you people to decide when you want to get married? No, I don't mom, get it. we still need time. As I'm speaking to you right now, Paul has gone out with a beautiful young lady. Who knows? She could be the one, mom. You want me to continue to wait for you guys? Samantha! Uh, Samantha! Samantha! Yes, mom. Thank you. Kelvin, leave me alone. Move out of my way. Move out of my way. Kelvin, I don't want to know nothing. Just move out of my way. It'd be like somebody they throw stones for the rooftop. Then go and stop the person. Why are you still standing here? I don't check. Nobody did there. What do you mean nobody did there? Nobody is outside, madam. Open the gate. Whose car is this? I don't know the person. Excuse me. Are you the one throwing stones on my roof? Um, I'm not. What are you doing here? Um, um, I'm, 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 I'm having problems with my, my tire and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to fix it up. You don't even have a flat tire. Musa, be very vigilant and watchful. Do you understand?
vigilant and watchful in bam. Yeah, come in. You have a date again? <laughs> Why you ask? You want to join in? No. I just needed your help for something. Okay, what's up? It's about someone I saw. Like a lady, lady, lady. Mm. My little brother Kelvin is in love. I mean, it's about time. This calls for a celebration, man. Oh, come on, man. Don't make a show out of this. I don't even know her. What do you mean you don't even know her? So what are you waiting for? Make a move. Get to know her. But how do I do that? What do you mean, how do you do that? Come on, be a man. Okay, what's her name? I, I, I don't know yet. You don't know yet? You making fun of me? Hey, come on, hey, I'm on your side, okay? Get a number, give her a call, book a date, go have fun. It's not as easy as you make it sound. It's as simple as it is. Paul, look, I need your help. Look, Kelly, you need to be a man about it, all right? You gotta do what you gotta do, bruh. And only you can do it. Face it. Paul. Your help. The man in black. <laughs> you can fix this for me. You have that black blood. You, you don't. Come on, yours is thicker <laughs> than mine, you know? <laughs> uh -huh. Hi. My name is Calvin, and I would like to know you. I knew you would come. I've been waiting for you, and I'd like to get to know you. I've also been dying to give you a kiss. Come. If she comes out, what am I going to tell her? Okay? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, I will know what to tell her. Kelvin! I said I need your help. For what? About the lady I spoke to you about. 
That's funny. I can see you still find it funny. I mean, hey, what do you want me to do? Paul, I want you to befriend her for me. Find out everything about her and also tell her about me. You're mad. Who does that? Who finds a girl for another guy, befriend her for somebody else? Who does that? I mean, you're, okay, all right, all right, all right, okay. I'll help you. I'll do it. But? But what? Kelvin, these things don't come easily, all right? It's expensive. Chasing these nice girls is expensive. It comes with a price tag. And how much are we talking about here? Uh, don't an offer, man. How much does it mean to you? She means a lot to me, Paul. There you go. So work out the math. Paul, you can do this for free. No, I can't do this for free. You're my brother. Calvin, think about an offer and let me know. I'll help you out. Okay? Okay, it's a deal. There you go. <laughs> so when are you going to start? As soon as I get the money. I don't work and then get paid. I get paid, then I work. The man in black. <laughs> Hi. Mom. Hey, guys. When did you get back from church? Oh, just not too long. Just a minute ago. So how was the meeting? It looks as if our church nowadays is all about money. Or it looks as if in heaven is on sale. Can you imagine? Mother, that's the support system. That's the way it works. I think I also need support, Mom. I need someone to tidy up my room and pack all my things. Are you serious, you guys? Yeah. You guys have decided not to get married. And you're complaining. You're jokers, the pair of you. Mother, all the beautiful girls out there, it's either they're not available, they're not ready, or they haven't been discovered. Are you for real? Yeah. So you're now you're blaming all the women, not your actions. Mom, what do you want me to do? You, uh, like I said, you're jokers, the pair of you. For example, look at you. I've never ever known any lady here that I've even got to know because they don't stay that long enough. You don't, I mean, forget about you and Kelvin, you. What's going on with you? You don't bring nobody here? I've never even, talking about ladies, where is your lady? What's your problem? <laughs> oh. Anyway, please take me to the kitchen. I don't want to listen to you people's conversations. Ah, what is that? We've not seen any lady. It's okay, leave me, I'll go by myself. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Jokes. Hello? Where's Johnny? Johnny? Excuse me? I know what I'm talking about. I even have a picture of him right here. Uh, Kelvin, who's making all that noise? That's him. I know that voice. Kelvin, what's happening here? That guy is Johnny. This guy is Johnny? Yes. Excuse me. Hey, 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 hey. What is going on here? Huh? Who is she? Who is she? A friend I used to know. Young lady, who are you and what is the matter? I'm Jasmine. Your son is responsible for my pregnancy. What? Excuse you? Pregnancy? Young lady, have a seat. It's not proper for you to be standing up this long. Paul, go and get her a drink, please. What? Why? Because she's your guest. I will do no such thing, Mom. You will do such thing. You will. You will definitely do it. Young lady, have a seat. Wait, mother. A prostitute has more claim than your son. I am not a prostitute. Enough of that, Paul. Excuse me. Mother, all I'm trying to say is whatever her claim is, I will not buy it. She's a gold digger. I always protect myself. And my name is not Johnny, okay? Paul, oh, shut up. Enough of that. Paul, mom said no smoking in the house. I have a situation I had, and you said mom said no smoking in the house. Am I smoking in the house? I'm out of the window. Look at me and look at me well. Do I look like I want to spend the rest of my life with that low class lady downstairs? Anyways, I'm going to take my shower. How do you know you're pregnant? I've got the results here. Let me see. Okay, no problem. I'm going to take over from here. You go home. 
Put your number here for me. Okay. Do you live alone? No, I live with my parents. No. This is what I want you to do. I want you to take care of yourself, okay? And make sure you eat well. I hope you don't smoke. No, no, no. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Because I want a healthy grandchild. All right? No mother wishes their child to do anything against the will. But the right thing has to be done. Regardless how hard it is. I told you not to smoke in the house. I will not marry her. You will do the right thing, son. Mom, love is not by force. Then you should have done the right thing, shouldn't you? You're the one who keep changing girls like the way you change your underwear. I will take care of my child, but I will not marry that thing. Oh, now she's a thing because she's fighting for her rights, right? Hi, my name is Calvin. I just saw you. Oh no, actually I've been seeing you around. And I was wondering if you would like to go out with me for a drink. Oh really? You love it? Great. How about this weekend? I'll pick you up. Yes. I'll pick you up, yes. I'm the new man in black. <laughs> Excuse me? Over here, please. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Is your madam in? Which one? How many madams do you have in this house? Which one you want to see? The dark colored with the long hair. Oh, small madam. Who do you? She doesn't know me. And and why why are you walking out on me? You talk so she doesn't know you. Look, it's important. I need to see her, okay? Everything is important. It's important that I finish my food. I beg Waga, no vessel. You yourself, you know Sabine we they look for. I have an important message for her. I saw her not too long ago. Hey, wait till the message. It's personal. If it's personal, why would they tell me? But I haven't told you anything yet. So what do you make I do, Oga? Okay? Is your madame in? Which one? Ah, uh, we are talking about small madame now. Oh, madame, small madame. Yes, your madame. Is she in? Mm, she go hospital. Which hospital? Why are they sick? I am not sick. Is she sick? Yes, a doctor sick before. Can you please tell me the name of the hospital? She not tell me. My friend, I've finished my food. Thank you. Hello. 
How can I help you, sir? Um, hi. Actually, I was hoping you'd um, tell me the name of a female doctor who just arrived. Do you have a problem I can help you with, sir? Um, yes, but I would really appreciate if you can just tell me her name. The one who just reported on duty. I'm sorry, sir. That will not be possible. But if you have any other problem, I will be glad to help. What ward is she in? It's against hospital policies. I can't help you. Sorry. Paul. Where are you? In town. What are you doing? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm working on something. Is there any problem? As a matter of fact, yes. How soon can you get to the office? I was called to go in as well. Need to discuss some details with you. Okay. Um, I'll be on my way soon. Auntie B has been my friend for a very, very long time. So, Auntie B, meet Jasmine. Hello, Jasmine. Oh, relax. Auntie B is a nurse, and she's here for us. You know, if there's anything, she'll be here to assist us. Okay. This is the list. Thank you. So, how have you been? I'm fine, thank you, Ma. I just bought the list that you requested. I'm even on my way for a checkup. Now, remember what we talked about, okay? Look after yourself. Thank you, Ma. Yeah. Nice meeting you, Auntie. Take care. Is that what I'm thinking? Of course. <laughs> Which of your boys? Paul. She's pregnant for who again? Paul. Now, who else will bring me such news? <laughs> B.Y. B.Y. <laughs> that girl is not pregnant for anybody but herself. Mark my words, from today, she's not coming back. Are you serious? Yes. How do you know? I know a pregnant woman when I see one. That girl wants to live off you for a while. uncomfortable she was. She's done the same thing to Mr. Japon's son. Are you serious? Helen, now look, all my dreams. I was beginning to enjoy the fact that I'm going to have a child in this house. Oh, my big you come on now, big It's not funny. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> no. Oh, Jenny, are you serious?
So take two tablets daily after meals, okay? All right. Thanks. Let me see okay. you next week. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Excuse me. Sorry. I think I know you from somewhere. I'm sitting there and I can't help thinking that you are very familiar. Do I know you? I don't think so. I mean, you work here, right? But uh, what's your name, please? Look, sir. I don't want to come across like I'm rude, but I have a lot of patients to attend to, so I have to go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, I'm pull up, please. Doctor, I'm so sorry to disturb you. Oh, I know you're on the phone, but this is a quick one. There is a doctor here that treated me once, and I traveled. I didn't get the chance to tell her thank you. So I'm here to see her, but I'm not sure who to ask for. I don't know her name. She's about five, six tall, uh, a little heavy, and uh, she's dark in complexion. Oh, that's um, Dr. Joycelyn Mensa. Dr. Joseph. Joseph. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. All right. So what is going on? I hope nothing is wrong. Damn, boy. You have some taste. <laughs> <laughs> she is one fine lady. I swear. I told you. <laughs> and what did she say? It's not what she says that counts, okay? Trust me. It is how I can convince her. But at least I have a name. And what is her name? Talk to me, Paul. Come on. Dr. Jocelyn Mensa. Yes! I like her, though. But she's mine. Hmm. No, I don't mean I like her for me. I like her, and that is why I'm doing you the favor, you know? You understand? Be be because you're my brother, that's, that's why I'm doing you the favor. That's why I like her. Yeah, okay, so you get her for me, right? Yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, with the little help of a few here and there. Oh, come on, Paul. I think we've discussed this issue already. We have. I... I'm about to activate the man in black. <laughs> I will pay her a visit. Sure. Good morning, boys. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Mom. Oh, wonderful to see you guys very happy this morning. Thank you, Samantha. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Morning, Mom. Morning, my darling. Good morning. Morning, Mr. Morning. 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 You slept well. I did, I did. Iced tea or coffee? Iced tea for me. Mm -hmm. uh, Chesley was here yesterday. What does she want? She brought this for you. She brought this for me. She must be mad. This is madness. Well, it looks as if you are a jackpot for a better life. This is crazy. It's crazy. I'm not taking this. Anyway, son, let's forget about that one. You're looking extremely happy. Mom, <laughs> I have found someone I'm attracted to. Are you serious? Yes, Mom. Wait, so when can I meet her? Soon. How soon? Just very soon, well, Mom. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Hey, that's what I want to hear. Yes, Mom. Thank you for that. And I believe you're going to like it. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll please enjoy our breakfast. You've okay. just made my day, Kelvin. Hello, madam. 
I have a gift from a very fine, nice man for you. Did he not tell you his name? No, please. Did he leave a contact? There is a number on the back, please. You know what? Keep it. Do whatever you want to do with it, okay? I don't have time for such rubbish. Thank you, my love. God bless you. Such rubbish. <laughs> I know you have a patient in Ward 36. I recommend yourself for a while before you make any hasty decision. Dr. Sam, don't show me how to do my job. I'm a specialist in this field and not a nurse. your ice cream walking out of you. How does she even think she is? <laughs> I was trying to talk to her and she just walked away. Young man, the only thing I'm telling you, remember, her father is the Honorable Minister of Health and yours is no bad. Madame no take him. She make her take give my wife. I beg no verse. I know I'm for kiddie time. So please, no verse. Next time, I will make you go take him. There will never be a next time. And tell your wife to never call my phone again to thank me for the present because it wasn't meant for her. Boss, I beg her here. I go warn him. I beg. Alvin, I did your area. Yeah, I've got a situation and I need a favor from you. Okay. He seems to have passed the crucial stage and responding to treatment. Can we get him anything, sir? Um, at the moment, no. All you need is prayers. Excuse me. Thank you, sir. I'm very hungry. Shall I get you something to eat as well? No, no, I'm fine. I can't eat anything right now. You will be fine, okay? Okay. So, 
According to his scan, his internal bleeding has stopped. Amen. He should regain consciousness very soon. I must say, your son is a very lucky guy. He's determined to survive. Oh. That's what the other doctor said. Thank you. The other doctor? Yes, doctor. Yes. You mean there was someone else here? Yes. Excuse me. Thank you. issue at hand. The situation is getting worse. Ebola is spreading very fast. While the WHO is working on an antidote or a vaccine, well, we don't know when it's going to be available. Uh, we have the losing end, the rate at which it is spreading. Um, well, our priority now is to prevent it from entering the country. The young man is trying to take you out, right? Yes, but I'm not interested. Like, to keep in frame of my work. When will you start getting interested, my dear? I mean, this is the time for you to settle down. Yes. When you're young and beautiful. Right, right. Um, I mean, your mom and I are not getting any younger. Yeah. And you are our only daughter. All right. I promise to introduce a man to you when I find the right man, OK? Oh. Well, it better not be too long, my dear. My teeth will be falling out in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, sir. Bye. Hello, mom. Paul has just resumed consciousness. Oh, thank God. Yes, mom. I'm going there right away, mom. Thanks. Bye. Take it from here, okay? Sorry. I think you should just help me with the door. Have you seen him? He's inside. <laughs> you know, with your sort of attitude, you're bound to be out of here in a week or less. Thank you, Dr. Jocelyn Mensa. But I'm not ready to leave all this first hand care from you. I'm not ready to do anywhere yet. No need to worry. You're free to visit any time after your routine checkups are over. Okay? Thank you, Doctor. Oh, good to see you. Mom. Hello, my darling. I'm very good. And look at you worried all about me when I'm there worrying about your legs and how to get better soon. Kevin, isn't that right? That's right, Mom. Um, Doctor. I would like my son and I to come and see you, if that's okay, to come and thank you for all the wonderful care that you gave it to my son Paul here while he was under your supervision. Oh, the pleasure is mine. I'm just fulfilling my oath. I must say, your son has a strong desire to stay alive. Oh, thank you. Amen for that. Have we met before? Um, no. Um... Not at all. Well, hello, Kelvin. I hope you have the same real power as your brother does. Kelvin, don't hurt the ladies, honey. Honey, am I bad? Okay. I'll be in my office. Thank you so much. TB, thank you so much for bringing Tina to me. Mm. I really like her. She seems such a pleasant girl. Mm. And for some reason, don't you think she's charming? Yeah. 
Oh, wow. Thank you. I told you I'll make it happen. You did. Yeah. You did. <laughs> Tina, yes, have you seen my son before? Yes, I have seen him. You have? He's really cute. Oh, I knew and it. I, I think I it. like him. Really? <laughs> I'm glad because I know once he sees you, he's going to go crazy about you. Yeah. I know that. I know that. <laughs> so, Tina, here's the plan. We are going to pretend you're here to help Auntie Helen. Okay. And Paul as well. And, uh, you know, be nice to him, all that, and uh, hopefully you fall in love with you and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get our grandbaby. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that is our dream. Yeah. We want Paul to settle down. I really do. I want to hear babies' voices. I want to see them running around. That is my dream. Tina, okay. you are so welcome. Thank all you. right? This is your home. Anything you want. Ask, all right? Okay. I must tell you this as well. I want you to become my daughter-in-law. You seem so nice. <laughs> anyway, you're welcome, all right? Thank you. This is your home. Let's go inside and I'll show you around. Thank uh, you. <laughs> Shall we? Ah! Ooh. Master Paul, can I take your stuff to your room? Master Paul? Anyway, this is Tina. And TV introduced her to us. And she's coming to help us in the house. And in fact, I think she's much better than Samantha, don't you think? Yes, she is. As a matter of fact, yes. Her Excellency Helena Peer. You've done it again. Please help me to sit down, please. Thank you. Oh, Tina. Thank you, Tina. God bless you. You're such a hard-working lady. Thank you. Hmm? And you're so, so learned. She's more professional than Samantha, don't you think so? I think so. Um, Tina, about my bag, can you please take it to the back? I've got things in there that smell like hospital and I'm trying to forget the whole hospital smell. Um, send it to the back and I'll give it to Charity. I'll do just that, Master Paul. Is she a Adorable. You're going to get to like her, Paul. So, how are you? I'm fine. I've just missed home a lot. Mm -hmm. I've missed my bed. Mm -hmm. I've missed food, real food. Master Paul, not an apple juice. I said she knows what to do at the right time. Tina. Anyway, Tina, <laughs> this is my son that I mentioned to you, Paul. Yes, go and shake his hand. Tina, sh shake his hand. Mm -hmm. Come on. Nice to meet you, Master Paul. The pleasure is mine, and you can call me just Paul. Okay, you know what? Until you get 100% on your feet, Tina here is more than capable of taking care of your therapy. Okay? Then, sweetheart. Let's go in the kitchen and prepare something for the boys while they do their yama yama. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Guys, we're coming. We're going to get something nice and sweet for you, okay? All right. Right. Thank you. Come on. So what do you think of her? Who? 
Oh, don't act dumb. You know who I'm talking about. Or oh, has the hospital thing changed your mind? She is sex material, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're back, you know. It's been extremely quiet here. You know? Yeah? And now that TT is here, there's gonna be a lot more noise, baby. Believe me. <laughs> now, first things first. She's not TT. She's Tina. And uh, secondly, if anything happens to her, Mom will never forgive you. Kelly, you're wrong. I mean, look at it. Mom is practically pushing the lady on me. If there's any relationship Mother has ever approved, this is it. Open your eyes and see the signs, bro! How am I supposed to know the sign, even if I see? Kelvin, I cannot teach you everything, all right? You have to look and learn. Paul, you have to teach me. You have to. You, you, you. No, you. no, no. Mom said no cigarette in this house and no smoking. You, Kelvin. Come in. Is it not too late to eat TT? It is due to your medication, sir. Paul. Okay. Paul. Okay, I get it. Thank you. Okay. Would that be all? Or would you want me to feed you? Yeah. I mean, that would be all for tonight. Thank you. I would leave you then. Um. We have peace here tomorrow. Don't forget. So, how's my favorite patient doing? Fine, thanks. But I could be much better if you would go out with me for lunch when I get discharged. <laughs> and when are you getting discharged? As soon as you get tired of me asking you out. You should be out in a couple of days. So what do you say? You're doing great. Very well. Do you have any side effects from your medications? So what about the date? I thought it was a lunch. <laughs> a lunch date? Whatever you like. OK, I'll think about it. I have been saving this for you. Rose, a sign of unchanging love. Or a very jealous lover. Please. Please, there is an emergency at World Tour, and I need your assistance. Bad timing. How did you get this number? A hello would be nice. And a how are you? Perfect. Okay. How are you, Paul? So you remember my name? And my voice? What can I do for you at this ungodly hour? Lunch on me. Tomorrow. Any place of your choice. You're not supposed to be driving with that leg of yours, you know? Well, you've been perfect. Pick me up, and we can go. I don't know where you live. 
well, when you're about to take off, just give me a call and I will give you directions. We're in the same neighborhood, though. I see. I didn't know that. Well, um, anyway, thanks for waking me up. I'm on my shift today. I have to get ready for work. Will that be all? A good night kiss won't be a bad idea. Come in. Sorry, Paul. I was doing my night rounds and I saw your light still on. So, um, I also heard you talking, so I came to check if all is well with you. All is well with me, Titi. Paul, the name is Tina. You know what? Come have a seat and talk to me about yourself. Tina, I like your hairstyle. Thank you. So, what do you actually do? Go ahead. Ooh, ah. Hey, let's go. Down. Ow. Ow. Last one. Ooh, all right. How do you feel? Feels good. Okay. I'm liking it. Oh, get up from I feel like I can walk again. Start walking then for me. <laughs> I can. All right. Ah, okay. okay. What's next? Next step. You can support yourself on my shoulder. Do you want to? Okay. Back up. Uh-huh. And what do I do? Three times. Raise your leg. Like up? Knee high. Knee high. Yeah. Uh, yep. Down. Ooh. Here. Up. Uh. Yep. Down. Last one. Come up. Yeah, you're doing so well. Ah. Uh. Good. <laughs> Okay. I can oh. sit down? Yeah, sit down. All right. Okay. Ah. Okay. You can take a rest for now. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> hey, sir. Thank you. Yeah, that's much better. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> It's good though. And Paul is just playing along. You know how your father is. He's good with the girls. Yeah, yeah. Especially right. when they're beautiful. Oh. And you know what? Even oh. though he's in pain, he doesn't want to disappoint him. Look at his are closing their borders. We may have to think of um, alternative measures. Um, perhaps go for border control for now. Um, hold on, there's an incoming call. I'll call you later. Hi, you're welcome, madam. Thank you. I'm Dr. Mensa. I'm here to see Paul. Okay, this way. Thank you. Madam, please have a seat. Thank you. 
Madam, he pleads you come to his room. Fine, thank you. Would that be all? Well, can this just get me some hot water, please? <laughs> what? What was that? It's Paul's doctor. What does she want? How am I supposed to know? Why won't you know? Kelvin, I don't know. You know, I've never seen you look this gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you've always said, stop smoking. Stop smoking. Exactly. Yeah. Smoking there you go. kills. I quit. Quit. So how's the physio coming for you? Oh, it's good. It's mm -hmm. going well. I was even doing some practice this morning. Straightening my leg. I hope you've been taking your medication. Oh, yes, I have been. You know, it's very important that you complete the course, the full course. Yes, thank you. It is. Ah. You still feel some pain? Ooh, 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 ah. Yeah, a little bit. You can touch that again, doctor. <laughs> you should be fine, okay? Dr. J. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure to suspend your legs in the air when you're sleeping. Put a pillow there and put your legs on top, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, doctor. What's this tarantula for? I'm the man in black. Oh. The man in black. You're welcome, auntie. Good oh, my dear. Whose car is this? Oh, that, um, Paul's doctor. Oh, thank you. And how long has he been here? For over two hours, mom. Two bloody hours. And I don't even know what they're doing inside here. Oh, I was attending to patients the whole of last night. I'm really tired. Mom! What a surprise! Dr. Menza. Hello, Mrs. Sophia. I realized that we all lived in the same neighborhood and decided to pay one of my favorite patients a visit. Oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you. Well, um, I must say I'm still impressed with his determination to heal fast. That's my policy. I never allow anything to bring me or put me down. That's, that's the way I was built. I go for what I want. I'm the man in black. I wish most patients would have that sort of spirit. I often deal with patients who are fast to give up. Oh. Anyway, you know what? Let me leave you guys to talk a little, all right? I'll leave you alone for a day. Oh, I'm already on my way out. Oh, I hope it's not on my accord. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope you come and visit more often, OK? Sure. She will be, won't you? Oh. Very often. <laughs> Take care. All right then. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye bye. Paul, you spent two hours here with my girl. What were you talking about? What were you telling me? What do you expect? She came to check on me. This is a. Uh, Doctor-patient relationship. We were just talking. And what about our arrangement? I'm working on it. What do you think I'm doing? Oh, listen, sophisticated, educated ladies are more difficult to work with as compared to the bush ones. Kelvin, I'm still the man in black. And I'm doing all this for you. She is beautiful, isn't she? Damn right she is. <laughs> but she's not my type. She's the type who would just keep you on your guard for, for no reason, you know? She's more of your type. My type. Yeah. 
my time. <laughs> Days when I used to wear white. Hello. We need to meet. Something has come up. You sound disturbed. Is everything okay? I'm fine. When and where can we meet? Is that that urgent? I just finished having a meal and I was about to have a nap. It's urgent. So should I come over to the house? No, 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 no. What is it? You're frightening me. You look beautiful. Thank you. Were you doing something? No, I'm fine. Is everything okay? <sighs> there is something I need to tell you. Mm -hmm. Something I've been wanting to tell you for a while back. It might seem a little weird, but it's the truth. And I need to let it out. I need you to know I need you to know that I am extremely attracted to you. And I don't know how you feel or what you think about it, but it would make me very happy to know what you feel or what you think about it. <laughs> but you know me well enough. I mean beyond friendship. Serious commitment. Are you sure this is what you want? Definitely. This is what I want. I mean, you've made an impact on my life. Being at the hospital all this time, your tender love and care you've given me this whole while. My heart just melted for you. Even if I wanted to ignore it, I just can't. So what do you say? Okay, no problem. I'll pass by in about 20 minutes and I'll pick it up. Damn. Why would you just send this thing by email? I mean, who picks up letters in this modern world?
Paul, welcome back. What's up? What is going on between you and Dr. Menzel? What does that mean? Don't lie to me, Paul. Don't lie. Hey, I'm just doing my bit, okay? You asked me to do something for you. Did you not? You asked me to help you out, and that's exactly what I'm doing. How can I get her on your behalf if I don't become her friend? I mean, how does that work? Oh, wait, hold on a minute. I'm trying to do something for you. Are you insulting me? Are you trying to insult my intelligence? I find this very insulting right now. That you are trying to play the game and make me look bad. As if I'm doing something wrong when I'm helping you out. Okay, what's the accusation? What is it? What do you hear? What do you see? What's the accusation? I didn't think so. This one, it's a game. It's a game, Paul! Kevin! When did you start drinking? Just when your son decided to stab me in the back. Your son is trying to double cross me, Mom! And I bet you he's not gonna go free with it. What is this? Huh? Oh, my God! Why? What is wrong with you? Ask your son, Mother! Ask him! Calvin? Do you want to kill your mother? Please, let's go and find out. Turn around. Let's go and see what's going on with him. Kevin! I'm calling you, Kevin! I'm trying to hurry up. Kevin! Kevin! Please. Please. What did I do now? 
Sweetheart, did you sleep well? Mm, I did. Fantastic. You know, I... Good morning, Paul. I'll be inside. Oh. And I'll be waiting for you for your TCO. Okay. Ah! <laughs> you came home very quietly this morning, Paul. Did you have fun today? Yes, I did. As a matter of fact, I had lots of fun. But what are you doing? You know, I don't like you smoking near me. You know that. Mom, mm -hmm. I think I'm ready to get married. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm speechless. You've made me the happiest woman on earth. God, thank you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you so much. You've answered my prayer. Thank you, Father. You've made me the most happiest woman on earth. I mean, I mean, I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. Patience. I, 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 Mom, patience. Um, this is between you and I. You, but, but... Keep it under wraps. Okay, okay. But, but, but... Tina hasn't told me anything. She hasn't told me nothing at all. But she's gonna make you a good wife. I know that. I know that. Keep it under wraps, Mom. Between you and I. Tony, why have you refused to eat? Huh? And why have you locked yourself indoors all this time? And you've also switched off your phone. What is it? Maybe talk to mommy. What is it? Huh? Nothing is wrong with me, Mama. I know you're not okay. I know you. You're my baby and I love you dearly. I know when something is not right. And plus, you've decided to cause an atmosphere of war in this house. Mom, I don't intend to. Paul is a traitor. Mm -hmm. I requested for a little help. Just a little help, Mom. And all Paul could bring back to me was a stab in the back. I told Paul to befriend the only woman I have ever loved in my life. And also tell her about me. But when he got there, he got her for himself. How can Paul be so heartless to me like this, Mom? Paul has taken away the only woman I have ever loved in my life, Mom. Kelvin, who is this woman? Mom, are you in here? I'm stepping out. No, no, no. no. You wait right there. I need to speak to you. What kind of person are you? What kind of person are you? How selfish and cruel can you get? You're very heartless. How could you do that to your own little brother? How could you? Out of all the women that you know, you decide to go for the one that your brother is in love with. You woo her and you take her away. What kind of person are you? You got women chasing you? You got women you're chasing? Plus Titi. What is wrong with you? You should be ashamed of yourself. And you. I'm highly disappointed in you. Mom! Shut up! I don't want to hear nothing. I know what's been going on. And I'm telling you right now. The wedding. You better cancel it. Cancel what? it right now because it's not going to happen. Over my dead body. Do you hear me? What? You heard me. I've already set the dates. I don't care. I cannot call it off like that. Listen, shut up! It's not going to happen. Your brother, Kelvin, deserved to have what is right for you. Yes. Do you hear? Do you comprehend? Nonsense. No, 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 no. Don't get the media involved now. I keep on saying that we don't have to create a panic situation. First, we have to give the media some training to report on issues like this. 
Okay, okay, you can set up a, a meeting with the press. But not today. Tomorrow. I have a meeting with the president. I'll see you soon. Right. Um, so, gentlemen, what's the latest? Honorable, BBC is spreading it like wildfire. It is getting bad, Honorable. The death toll is outrageous. When are you seeing the senior doctors? Well, um, I guess sometime this week. The doctors are getting afraid. They are demanding for protective gears in case of any emergency, Honorable. The WHO is responsible for that. It's just a matter of time. We are expecting some items, but we'll distribute them ASAP. Um, get me the director of medical service on the phone. Thank you, sir. There is something about you, girl. Bend down low. Shop the dance and take it slow. The way you want, you got me out of control. Sassy girl, you don't want you. Thank you. Um, I invited you guys here because I feel like I am number one. I am getting married to the most beautiful woman in the world. After the club, girl come in my room. I tune, really have to take my share. Me only kill the kid, me love the way she freaky. She know she to scream and give me the right. You where you want it? You make the ball and I stop and I watch it. The lighting I like it. Me I go switch up the crowd. Your astonishing beauty, confusing the bad man and abusing. Ready for the dance hall? Who no better dance more? Girl I want a new style. And so, girl me love you. William is my little brother. I am not your brother. And I can never be your brother, Paul. You are a traitor! How dare you, Paul! How dare you! You think this wedding will hold? It will never hold! I promise you with my life. Okay. It will never hold. Throw him out! Carry on, carry on, guys. Carry on. Sorry, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There is something about you, girl. You bend down low, shop the dance and take it slow. The way you want, you got me out of control. Sassy girl, me love how you want. Me love how you rock my world.
You people want me to die? Please. You know your daddy would want this more than you. To see this happy family united. Please. It's all I'm asking. Please. of my wrong but because of the love I have in my heart for you my brother I know I did you wrong I hurt you I took the one thing that you ever wanted And I ask for your forgiveness. We should not allow the unity that we've enjoyed in this family, the happiness that we've shared, to be jeopardized by my one single mistake, my brother. <laughs> I ask you to forgive me and I regret my actions. You promise? To stand by me. You promised to protect me, remember? Until now you have been doing it. There is nothing like happiness again in my life. Paul, why? Why, my brother? That is why I ask you to forgive me. Your apologies cannot get me what I want, Paul. Kelvin, look. Your brother is actually on his knees begging. Find it in your heart. Please. He's made a mistake. He's come forward. He knows he's wrong. Please. Kelvin. You, you two are my life. That's all I have. Please kill me. Please. 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 Because I am strong enough to realize that people make mistakes and they deserve a second chance.
Give me a nice trip pillow. Lift yourself up. I need you to conduct a blood test and then test X ray afterwards. Okay. Roses are red, violets are blue, my heart, mind and body can't stop thinking of you. <laughs> Daddy, where are you? This is urgent. Someone has arrived in the country with the Ebola virus. And we suspect he might have been brought to your hospital. No one should attend to him, but rather quarantine him in an isolated ward until the expects arrive. This is the gentleman. She's still not answering. Mom? Thank God you guys are back. Have you heard the news? The rumors are everywhere. Are you okay? Mom, we oh. came as soon as you said we should. What's happening? Have you talked to Dr. J? Have you rung her? Not this afternoon. Is something wrong? Your wife to be is suspected to be the one who treated the patient who entered this country with the Ebola virus. What? And the security forces are searching for her and three other men. It's all over. All over. The news is all over. No. All over. No. Oh, Jesus. Paul! 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 Go after him.
Jocelyn! You know here? I don't hear what? She know the sickness they are inside. You know here. Um... Jocelyn! Sometime last week. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Nabo. Right. Honorable Minister, the Zungu area. We we'll need more backup. But Honorable, we don't seem to have the required manpower. Well, um, the United Nations has promised some medical equipment and support. Uh, I believe the items will start flowing in very soon. Um, do you have any information on my daughter's whereabouts? No, sir. Please keep on trying. Yes, sir. Right. What is the head of the police saying? Well, um, they are still on it. Oh, hello, dear. Well, um, as soon as I get some information, I'll let you know. Um, just try and keep calm. My daughter is a big girl. She'll be just fine. Okay, all right, bye. Well, um, let's see. Are you making any progress? Honorable Minister, I have this document for you to study. Have you seen the sleep? Oh? Ah, the old man get money, you see the car motor, what should you carry? Wait. Hello? Of well. Where can I get some to buy? Oh, oh Petro, it did fire up. I'm not feeling well. Could you kindly help me buy some? But, madam, if you feel settled, us, will. No problem. Okay, we'll get it. Okay, madam, we'll be back again, don't worry. We'll go now.
Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Auntie, I want to talk to you. Is there anything wrong, Tina? Auntie, um, things are not going as planned, so I think I want to leave. I do understand, Tina. I really do understand. And I'm sorry that everything turned out this way. I wanted you to be my daughter-in-law. I really did. You're charming. You're pleasant. You have amazing character and hardworking. But unfortunately, it didn't turn out that way. I'm very sorry, Tina. I'm very, very sorry. It's OK, Auntie. I, I have to leave. She's nowhere to be found. I've called her phone many times no response. I mean, I've called everywhere and everyone. This is hopeless. So what are you saying? I am talking to you, Paul. Hey, don't scream at me, okay? What do you want me to do? Call Interpol? Boys. Mom, for the first time, I am asking the man in black a question and I am not getting an answer to it. We are talking about Joyce in here, Mom. We need an answer, Paul. I know, but it's okay. Now, we all know this is a deadly virus, and it kills 90% of its victims. So please, we have to be alert. I'm, I'm just fed up with the whole situation. Calm down, son, calm down. I'm positive the health officials and the security agencies will definitely find her. Please calm down. Mother, she has few days to live. Then we have to go and rescue her. Rescue her? You must think this is some kind of superhero movie. This is real life, OK? Get it. And there was nothing you and I can do about it. You know, I'm just gonna call off the wedding. There's every indication she's gonna die. What? Are you insane? Insane? You said we should go and rescue her. Who's insane? Boys, enough is enough. Well, you just can't abandon her like that. I'm not abandoning her, right? I'm just calling off the wedding. Boys, this is enough. Enough is enough. I knew. You never even loved her in the first place. I don't care what you think. I don't give a damn what you think. I mean, you couldn't even win the woman's love. Look at you. Awful style of dressing. Stupid car you've got. You have no swag. I'm calling off the wedding. There was nothing you can do about it. Is That's that, my decision to make. Is that necessary? Really? Where is the strength of your love, Paul? Is that how you were going to stand by her in difficult times? She needs you now more than ever before. And you think calling off the wedding is the best decision? No, leave me in this place, Mom. Kelvin! There's nothing we can do about this, all. Kelvin! Hello, Seth. Hello, Kelvin. Charlie, I've been calling at least five of your numbers to get you. What's up? I'm good. Please, I need your help. Um, did you remember the tracking device you gave me the last time? Yeah. Will it still be working? Okay, let me check. Please do and hit me up as soon as possible, okay?
Jocelyn? Jocelyn? What are you doing with a gun? I said, what do you want? I understand how you feel, okay? Come on, drop the gun. <laughs> Many people survive Ebola, and I strongly believe you can survive this as well. Get away from me. I said, where is Paul? I don't know! I am here, okay? And I came to get you. I came here because I didn't want to affect anyone with this virus. So leave! You can't continue to isolate yourself in this place. Come on, we need to go home! <laughs> ah! I told you to stay away. I'm sorry. I'm doing this for your own good. The virus is in my system. And any contact with you will endanger your life. Listen to me. I have found you. And there is no way I can allow you to perish in this place. Ah! <gasps> I don't want you to die. You were supposed to get married to Paul, remember? In the name of God, I need your help, please. Come on, look. She's dying. Doctor! Doctor, they just broke Dr. Mensa. She's outside with some guy. What? Dr. Mensa? Call the Ebola protective unit now. I'm sorry, Doctor. I can't go closer to the phone. They're in the reception area. Oh, shit. Die 
Fine, I need your help. Doctor, thank God you are here, okay? Look. Calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down. No. Help is coming. The system is under control. Calm down. This is Dr. Mensa. This is Dr. Mensa. She wants to do something. Come, please, I need your help. Okay. Please, I need your help. Relax, okay? Calm down. Calm down, right? Calm down, calm down. Come, listen, next one, calm down, relax. Everything is Please, I need your help. I beg you, the name of God, I need your help. Please. No, calm, calm come on, down. look. Calm down. Listen, everything is under control. Please, I need your help. Calm down, relax. Okay? Okay, okay. I need your help. I need your help. Listen, we know, Dr. Mensah. She's dying, I need your help. Please, doctor. I need your help, please. I need your help. Thank God. Hurry up, please. I need your help, please. She's dying. Hurry up. Please, I need your help. Come on. She's here. She's inside here, please. I need your help, please.
think you should read it before you get married. I just need you to know a few things. I love you so much that I would die for you, even from the first day that I saw you. By the time you read this letter, I will be no more. I asked Paul to tell you about me and how I felt about you. Instead, he staged his beat up and got you to love him. My brother stole you from me. I loved you first and I will always love you. He was even planning to call off the wedding. If she won't marry you, I will.